something. Didn't Linny say that Lynette and Fremenet were recovering at the Hotel Bouffe de Thé? Oh, Paimon wonders how they're doing. Maybe we should go check on them. about you? Are you feeling all right? I knew you'd come out unscathed. Us, on the other hand, well, we've been bedridden for two days. I couldn't even turn over. Oh, and I wanted to ask, is Claire V... gone? Linny and the other members have left Poisson and returned to the House of the Hearth. According to him, there haven't been any more sightings of a spirit roaming the house. I see. I'm glad. Father came to check up on us two days ago, and told us about what happened with Crucibina and Clairvy. Actually, I... I've met Crucibina before. Crucibina died a year after Clairvy. It was during the year between their deaths that I joined the House of the Hearth. Crucibina had an extremely cruel and radical way of doing things. While she was alive, the atmosphere in the house was suffocating. When I joined, though, the experiment she valued so much had already come to an end. And all the people involved, dead and injured alike, are gone. Crucibina never talked about the past with us newcomers. A couple of months after I joined, Father killed Crucibina and burned all her files. With that, the names of all the people subjected to her experiments, Claire V included, were lost to the flames, along with the painful memories they represented. Father took in Lenny and me a couple months after that, but she never mentioned anything about Crucibina or Clairvy. Hmm. It really seems like something she was planning to keep to herself. The last time you talked to her, did she mention why she kept it a secret for so long? She said she didn't want us to be affected by the darkness of the past. She was worried we'd develop a false sense of gratitude towards her if we knew about it. The foundation of a family should be free of any corrupting influence. Whatever happened in the past, it has nothing to do with who we are now. And that's what Father told us in the end. But I still thanked her for everything. It was only after hearing about what Crucibina did that I finally realized how insignificant our lives could have been. The members of the house meant nothing to her. To say that she valued them in any way, even just as a tool, would probably be giving her too much credit. If Father hadn't taken over the House of the Hearth, I probably would have already. Father rarely brings up the fact that she saved us. She doesn't believe that being indebted to her should be what ties us together. But even if we didn't owe her anything, we would still choose to stay. Because this is our home. We may have arguments or times when we feel wronged. Some people may even choose to leave. But as long as Father is here, we will always have a home. Whether the path before us is bathed in sunlight, or shrouded in shadow, we'll follow Father wherever she chooses to go. 
So I wanted to say thank you for helping us make it through this crisis. Without your help, we could have lost a lot more along the way. Oh, we didn't do anything, really. Of course, you're welcome anytime. Are Filio and Nantoy okay? I actually saw them at a cafe this morning. They didn't recognize me. From what I could tell, they were drinking coffee and talking about one of the operas that started running recently. They seemed happy. If I had to take a guess, I would say they finally found the kind of life they always wished for.